What does it mean, low motility, and how it may affect infertility? As we all know, sperm parameters are important predictors of the quality of the semen. The basic parameters analyzed in a, uh, in a seminogram are concentration, morphology, and motility. And they are very important testing male infertility factors. Today, I will talk about sperm motility, uh, known as the movement of the sperm. We can classify the mot motility of a sperm in four different categories. Fast progressively motile, slow progressively motile, non-progressively motile, and immotile. According to the World Health Organization, it's very important to analyze the difference between these movements because it has a, a clinical importance. Moreover, according to the World Health Organization, good motility is considered when more than 32% of the sperm has progressive, progressive, progressive motility or when the progressive and the non-progressive motility is higher than uh, 40%. Therefore, samples that are under these reference values are considered to have a low motility and the medical term used for diminished sperm motility is asthenothospermia. So why is the motility of the sperm important to evaluate and how, it, how may it affect infertility? So motility is a very important parameter because the spermatozoa has to be able to swim inside the uterus to reach the egg and also it has to be able to pass through the cervical mucus and the oocyte layers, and finally, fertilize the egg. So if they can't move or if they have difficulty swimming, it will be really difficult to, to reach the, the, the egg. That's why the extent of progressive sperm motility is related to higher pregnancy rates than, and the total number of motile sperm in the ejaculate. There are different causes of low sperm motility. First of all, uh, as we all know, lifestyle has a big effect in the semen parameters and in the fertility of men and, and women. Related with motility, low motility sperm is often linked with obesity, a sedentary life, smoking, and the consumption of alcohol and drugs. And improving the lifestyle in a lot of cases can improve the seminogram values. Moreover, excess uh, sperm with low motility is also associated with clinical problems such as the presence of varicocil, having had an episode of high fever or, or infections. In addition, alteration due, during sperm transit through the epididymis, that is where the sperm acquire the motility, the motile ability, can cause alteration in sperm mitochondrial functioning and affect the sperm motility. It's also important to highlight the possible genetic cause of the low motility. For example, Cartagener syndrome is an autosomal recessive genetic ciliary disorder, and it's characterized by the absence of the DNA in arms in the internal structure of, of sperm tail. That, it's, th that is what makes sperm unable to, to swim. So low motility may mean that there are genetic problems or the DNA fr is fragmented with results in fertility problems and difficulties in conceiving a, a healthy baby. Therefore, motility is an essential parameter in reproduction and a high percentage of sperm with low motility can make the couple take longer to, than, than normal to get pregnant or acquire the, uh, require the help of some fertility treatment to get in. Hopefully, thanks to the IVF techniques, nowadays we can select through our different techniques those sperm with better motility and more capable for, of fertilizing the egg. That is why techniques like uh, ICSI are a good option for people with sperm motility problems because we can select uh, the spermatozoa and directly microinject it, it inside the oocyte, helping the spermatozoa to read the oocyte, overcoming the natural physical barriers. 